Welcome to the Color Coded Chef. And today, Lynn with Missouri Special Olympics is here today. And what kind of recipe are you making today, Lynn? Um, banana nut muffins. Great. Um, have you made this recipe yet? Uh, yes. All right. So now that you're a pro, why don't you go ahead and tell us about the recipe and what is on it first? So we're making banana nut muffins. Are you able to see it? I can, nice job. So we need flour, bacon powder, bacon soda, fast acne, yeast, and water, and three bananas, sugar, plain yogurt, eggs, oil, and vanilla and chopped walnuts. Very good. And as a reminder to anybody who is watching, if you happen to have a nut allergy, you can always leave the walnuts out of the recipe. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have our supplies off to the side. Yes. You need one large bow, one medium bow, the pink cut, the blue cut, the purple cut, the green spoon, the blue spoon, and the purple spoon, and the measuring cup, and a muffin pan, muffin cups, oven mitts, I mean oven mitt, mitts, and toothpicks. Alrighty, let's get started with um, the recipe. So, step one is you're going to preheat your oven. and put liners in your muffin pan. So we're gonna preheat our oven to 350. Okay, and then you're gonna put some cupcake liners in it. Step two is we're gonna need the pink cup and bacon flour which is this. Got it. And for our viewers, the reason why we do three pink cups, um, this helps the people who have trouble with fractions. This way they get the exact amount of ingredients into the bowl. And Lynn is also putting this into the large bowl to make it easier to stir and to keep the ingredients in the bowl instead of flipping out when she stirs them all together. Okay. Step three is we're gonna do yeah, two tablespoons of baking powder. Which is this. That is that. And it is a blue teaspoon. And the tablespoon is um, the green one, but it's a lot bigger in size. So just to help our viewers that we are using the teaspoon. And I always like to get some and then shred this. It's the salt. And make it level. Good yep. job. And then step four is the purple spoon. And we're going to use bacon soda. We're only going to use one of these. And it should look just something like that. Very good. And then step five is we're going to use the green spoon, which is this one. Yes. And we're gonna use the yeast. Okay. 
It should look like this. Very good. Step six is to stow. You're mixing all the dry ingredients together to make them kind of evenly spread out. Okay. And this thing here. Okay. I'm gonna go get some one fourth cup of water. You want to make sure that that is warm water because you're mixing it to get the yeast to activate. So is that one fourth cup? The purple line? Yep. Okay. Oh. Or is that the pink? Okay. There we go. <laughs> that looks a little better. Thank you. <laughs> And it says to stir until it's crumbling. So it should look something like that. That looks great. Okay, step nine is peel three small bananas. Okay, we're gonna use our other bow. We're done with that one right now. And we're gonna go ahead and chop them. Mm -hmm. And for any parents who might be watching this, if you have a concern about the knife, there is a great magic thing out there called no cut gloves. And they work really well just because the knife cannot cut through the gloves. So for safety reasons, I do want to just let people know that is available. is one third yeah. and we're going to do two of these look something like this all right one one two and then we're going to need So, step 13 is we're going to do one fourth cup, I mean, two, two, four, two one fourth cups of plain yogurt. So, there's one. All right. Two. 
too. Lynn, I'm going to ask if you'll push the sugar bag down just so we can see you work there just a little bit. Thank you. Appreciate that. Move it out of my way. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So step fourteen is this. This is what kind of eggs it costs. It costs for the liquid eggs. It does, and that's to help the people who don't have the dexterity to crack the eggs and keep the shells out of what you're cooking. The other thing is um, to let people know the reason why we do two one fourth cups is to make sure that we avoid cross contamination between the cups and the different ingredients. So we're going to do one half cup, which is it's to the pink line. And then, yeah. yeah, okay. We're going to do two tablespoons of oil, which is the green. There's uh -huh. one, two. And then we're gonna do two teaspoons of the blue uh, vanilla extract. There's right. one. And then it says to mix the ingredients in the bowl by hand. So you can use an immersion blender at this point in time, or you can use a fork and really smash it flat. So I'm going to use. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> and our goal here is just to get the bananas mashed evenly in the ingredients instead of having big hunks of banana in our muffins. So then here comes the thin part. We're gonna take we're gonna Bring the dry ingredients. We're going to pour the liquid into the dry. And then we're just going to mix it all together. And it should look like this. Oh, I think it looks great. I'm getting hungry, Lynn. Okay, and then we're gonna take the one third cup there we go. And then we're gonna pour it into the cake bag, I mean the muffin pan. Just like that. All right. And then you're going to Put it in the oven for 15 minutes and then you're going to pour it out and let them cool and then yeah. they're going to look like this. All right, back up just one step. If you want at this point, you can put the walnuts on top and decorate them on top of the muffins. You could also have mixed them in with the muffins, it doesn't matter. But yeah. <laughs> I want you to show off that wonderful banana nut muffin because 
you got to make a set before we got started and I appreciate that. So pick up one of those muffins you made and let's see it. That looks delicious. Have you taken a bite yet? Yes. <laughs> All right. And do you like the muffin? Yes. Okay. Not to put you on the spot. Just wanted to ask the question. All right. Was there something either challenging or super easy about this recipe that you liked? Um, I actually had to add just a little bit more sugar to it. Okay. Because the first batch I did was uh, kind of sour. So I decided I like another half a cup to it. Alrighty. Another thing you could do is split the sugar and do sugar and brown sugar with it if you wanted more moisture in with it too. Oh, I never thought about that. Okay. So that one would have worked. Well, Lynn, I am so happy you made those this morning and I have a feeling you have a crew that back there that is going to enjoy eating them with a little bit of butter or something on it for topping. So that will be <laughs> great. Lynn, I thank you so much for coming in on this morning and helping make banana nut muffins and for us to see how to make that recipe. You're welcome. You have an awesome day today. Okay. And I'm Terry Jordan with The Color-Coded Chef, and thank you for joining us.